While the Audio Authority intercom system is designed to be as simple as one counter station and one customer station, the addition of a hub provides the system with matrix capabilities. These can be as small as 2 on 2 or as large as 8 on 16. Systems can be audio only or with one-way or two-way video capability. Audio Authority manufactures two types of intercom hubs, an audio-only mini-hub and an expandable audio-video hub that can be configured for as many as eight counter stations and 16 customer stations. The AV system hubs are modular, so you can add capacity in the field by adding more counter station cards or lane station cards. You can also buy the hubs pre-configured in these four configurations. AV system hubs must contain at least one counter station card, one lane card, and one system card. The model 1515 counter card can connect up to four counter stations via Cat5 cables. There are four RJ45 ports for counter stations, and each port has a corresponding activity LED. 1515 cards can be installed in the top two slots of an AV system hub for a maximum of eight counter stations. The model 1516 connects to four lane stations. Each port has an activity LED and also a corresponding BNC jack that provides video output from a customer station camera that can be routed to a third party security system for monitoring or recording. Keep in mind that these ports only output video, there is no audio signal. Hub slots 3 through 6 are reserved for lane cards. Each port on the counter cards and lane cards has a corresponding activity LED. A fast blinking LED is normal and indicates the connection is in a ready state. A solid LED indicates a counter station is communicating with a customer station right now. A dark LED means there is no connection at that port. Check the cables to make sure they are connected, and check for damaged cables. The connected counter station or lane station may be faulty, or there may be a damaged port on the hub. If you narrow the problem down to the hub, the hub card can be replaced in the field. The last slot in the hub is reserved for the system card, model 1517A. It's the brains of the AV system hub. It not only controls signal routing between counter stations and customer stations, it also has a memory card slot, dedicated security camera jacks, and multimedia inputs. The power LED indicates the power supply is plugged in and the hub is receiving power. Normal LED behavior is a flashing pattern, long on and short off. If the LED is dark, there is probably no power to the hub. Check the voltage at the plug end of the power supply. If it reads 12 volts, then there is a problem with the system card or somewhere deeper in the hub. If one of the other cards in the system has been damaged, it might cause a drain on the entire system and keep the system card from functioning properly. In either case, you should contact Audio Authority support for further troubleshooting. The SD memory card slot is for firmware updates and to backup system settings. It accepts standard SD, SDHC, or SDXC memory cards. It's not necessary to have a memory card in the slot for everyday hub operation. It's a good practice to make a snapshot of the system settings so you can restore them in the event of a failure. You can store the card in the slot or keep it in another safe location. The current intercom system firmware is always available to download from audioauthority.com. We'll cover firmware updates in detail in another lesson. The diagnostics port is not active. It's only used in manufacturing. You can connect a camera to the wide view camera BNC input in addition to the lane station cameras. This video feed may be viewed on video capable counter stations as well as on a dedicated monitor connected to the BNC output. This output can also be connected to a DVR for recording. The program input ports allow audio and video content to be shown on the customer station monitors. For example, a bank or pharmacy may want to promote new products or show local news while customers are waiting to be served. This video feed may be displayed on video capable counter stations as well. However, audio may only be heard at the customer station. 
Any type of video content may be displayed, but the intercom can only support composite video resolution, 480i. Audio Authority offers compatible media players, ideal for video advertising. The volume level knob adjusts the volume of the audio heard by the customer. You can add or remove cards to configure AV system hubs based on each installation. There are a couple of rules about hubs. Two top slots in the card cage are for counter cards only. The bottom slot is reserved for the 1517A system card. Slots 3 through 6 are reserved for lane cards. When adding counter cards and lane cards, always start with the topmost position available for the card type and work your way down. When inserting a card into the card cage, be sure to align the edges of the card in the center of the side rails so that the pins will align and seat correctly in the backplane socket. Bent or damaged pins from improper installation may cause system instability and would void any warranty claim. From the bottom, you can see the power connection on the hub card cage near the ground wire. The ground wire is an important part of an intercom installation. This is the only point where the Series 1500 system has a ground path, so this wire must be connected to a good earth ground to maintain electrical stability. A typical place to connect the ground wire is on the metal housing of an electrical outlet, but there are other places in any facility that may be used if they are suitable for earth ground. The 1509 SD is an audio mini hub. It has a small footprint, but it is capable of handling up to two counter stations and four lane stations. This hub has no video capabilities, but you can connect a program audio feed to play audio messages on the lane station speakers. There is a volume level adjustment here. Insert a standard SD card here for firmware updates or to back up system settings. Be sure to connect the ground wire to a good earth ground as you install the hub. The standard power supply connects here. All current model hubs come with a standard SD card. However, you may encounter older hubs that are only compatible with data flash cards. These cards look very similar to SD cards in size and shape. However, data flash cards cannot be used in SD card slots, nor can SD cards be used in hubs designed for data flash. The main advantage of SD cards is that you can download firmware from AudioAuthority.com and load it on an SD card for firmware updates. And you can't do that with the data flash compatible hubs. If you see SD printed on the hub or hub card, you know it is SD compatible. Otherwise, you have to use a data flash card from Audio Authority or replace it with a new SD compatible hub or system card. Contact Audio Authority support for the proper procedure to update hubs with data flash cards. That's it for lesson four. Next topic, we'll use the knowledge gained so far to install and set up a one-on-one -on -one intercom system with video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call 800-32-AUDIO or visit audioauthority.com.